Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Python for the beginners. In our last video, we have learned how to perform the arithmetic operations using the variables in a file that we created as a program file. But what we did in the last video? In the last video, we declared three variables and into three variables, we assigned some values or we can say we have stored these three values in our three variables. But in this case, what we are doing, we are predefining some values to our variables and then we are performing the operations for it and getting some desired output. But in the case, if I want the value to be entered by the user, in that case, I can't use it like this. For that, I need to make the user to enter some value and then perform the operation according to that. So in this video, we are going to learn that only and we will also learn what is typecasting. So let's start with it. So firstly, I would like to remove these things so that I can make this variable to enter some value. So this is my variable. I want the user to enter some value and that value to be stored in this variable a. So my command for making the user to enter some input is this. The command is input and within the parenthesis, within the quotations, just write any text that you want. Enter value of a. Similarly, write it for b. Just write it. So, this is the case. I'm using the two values. One is a and one is b. And for both values, the user have to enter. The user will enter for the A and user will enter for the B and these value will be stored in A and B and then it will perform the operation. But if I will save this file and run this, I will not get the desired output that I want. Let's run it. So it's asking me to enter some value. I'm entering 7 and for B I'm entering 5. But now if I will enter the value, I will not get 7 plus 5 as 12 it will give me the result as 75 because what happens is let's see here when i am writing this command so this is giving me a output as a string file so this will generate a string file but i do not want a string value i want some integer value or a float value so that I can perform some arithmetic operations on it but this is not a case that we can use to perform the operation so I need to convert this value into an integer value so I will convert this value into an integer value or a float value and this process of converting the value or your string value or any type of value into a different data type is known as Type casting. So I'm converting this value into an integer type and then storing it into a variables. So I have just converted my variables. So I have just converted my values into an integer type. So now I can perform the operations on it. So this time I will run this file and now enter the value of this 23 12 this time I'm getting the correct output 23 plus 12 is 35 so this is the result I'm getting from this and one more thing I would like to tell you so just minimize this file and go to the file or the location where you have saved this file and then just click on the file that you have saved and then try to run it 
there will, there will be some problem in your program it is asking me to enter some value enter the value of a so i am entering 23 again it is asking me for b and 12 and this time i will not be able to see my result see my window disappears so how to make your window to be visible to see your result so in that case i need to write one more command so that i can see my result so just go to the end line of your program and then write the same command input double quotations write any text enter to exit press enter to exit and now minimize this and then try to run it enter the value of a 32 12 and see now you are getting the result 44 and it is asking me to press enter to exit now when you will enter or press enter then your window will disappear see my window disappears so this was it for today thanks for watching my video if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any queries so please leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet so please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos thank you